Hi Capricorns, welcome to your monthly reading. As always, keep in mind that this is only a general reading. Always take what feels right and with what does resonate within your own life experiences during this time. If you would like to have a personal reading with me, please contact me through the email I put in the description box below. For the month of December, as usual, I have two uh, special sales offer available. One, it's called Gift from the Universe, and it's a reading that uh, kind of uncovers what kind of gifts and blessings are coming our way, such as positive news. Um, and the other one, it's a yearly reading. It's called Chapter 21 and has the intention also to guide us through a better understanding of what kind of major themes, experiences, events, um, energies, challenges we can um expect for the next year cycle uh, for us all. So if you'd like to know more details about those special offers or any other of my services, again, just email me. Uh, or if you'd like to donate and support my channel, you can also do that by following the PayPal link, which is also down below. So Capricorn, it feels like some of you might have your mind really heavy on something. And some of you are trying to change uh, your mindset, your mentality, when it comes to progress, when it comes to future aspirations that you feel so, um, <sighs> there's something some of you Capricorns feel that it's so far at your reach, yet you want it, yet you desire it so much. So there's this um, inconsistent um, mindset when it comes to putting the right thoughts putting the right mental programming to really access what it is that you're seeing so far away, so distant from you, um, to access that, to make it happen. Some of you can make whatever it is that you're after happen um, in the next year in particular, but it's going to depend and rely heavily on your mindset. So if you're too pessimistic, too negative, too insecure, um, if you feel like you have this, um, you know, if you put all of your focus in the amount of limitations you might have or obstacles or, you know, reasons to not um, make something possible, then that's what some of you are going to find. Some of you, for some of you Capricorns, December is a real, like this reality check kind of energy where... You're going to be shown uh, in a certain way where you're trying to sabotage something, where you're trying to deny yourself growth, where you're trying to deny yourself what you most want. Um, and I feel like some of you Capricorns have been through something with the death card here in your current, I'm sorry, in your past uh, influence, so the energy you're leaving behind, but it's still kind of subtly present. Um... I feel like some of you Capricorns went through a complicated transformation and or a very intense ending in the recent years actually it has been something like a slow building process that left um, this mark, this insecurity when it comes to possibilities. I feel like some of you need really um, this boost of confidence to set yourself to do, create, work on the things you want. Just because something happened in your past that left you feeling like you don't have it in you to achieve your dreams doesn't make it real. It's, it's like something in your past left this doubt in you, in your system, and you're meant to purge it out. That's why the death energy is still here. There's this fear or insecurity that the purpose to it is not to stop you, it's to um, activate this purge of whatever it is that doesn't serve you anymore. And for some of you, uh, the majority of you actually is a mindset and a system of beliefs that have kept you stuck where you most mostly want to evolve. And for some of you Capricorns, this might be dealing with work, finances, career, something you really want um, to see positive improvement. For others of you, though, it's also a matter of the position you want to reach in your life. So even if you have 
a good financial situation and a job that satisfies you. It's, it's that feeling of wanting to have a position where perhaps you're more respected or seen as this figure with the King of Swords here and the Page of Swords. You want to be seen as this figure that entails in it, in, in it, in him, in her, all, you know, all the elements, all the traits that would make anyone and anything, you know, um, impossible to not dignify you and notice you for who you are. So some of you are after status, some here fame, um, some of you just want to have this reputation out there. You want to have this, um, perhaps it's your brand or your name, depending on your personal circumstances. You just want something out there that dignifies you and it dignifies and respects again and honors whatever hard work you have been putting in the last seven years in your life. So for some of you Capricorns, this is a month about things coming together like full circle. So, uh, those of you that have been doing this purge, that actually have been shedding, 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 letting go, letting go, letting go, and trying to program here your mind to, you know, think positively and really look at things with clarity, right? It's not even like this false positive mindset. No, it's not like that. It's not about denying reality. It's actually being more centered in reality where you see opportunities and experiences and something you can always gain out of something where you feel like previously you only have lost there's something about your mind that will allow you to set you know this um loss or defeat into a gain somehow because you're very smart and for some of you capricorns this is the month to use your intellect to use really your um rational focused uh analytical mind to bring you what you want and not what you don't want so in a way for some of you capricorns this can be a very um a month that it's very much about practical rational decisions some of you might make important decisions to your future some of you might be about to invest in something big and you're doing so with this um mixture of fear but at the same time you know standing strong on whatever commitment you're about to make just make sure that you understand all that it's involved for some of you it is something that is going to help you move into better um circumstances with the six of swords so you move into 2021 so you move into next month as we also it deepens uh, the energy of your season uh capricorn you move into january you know feeling better feeling more at peace feeling more seated um and grounded in this knowing that you're doing what's best for you um, then what you start in December most likely. So let, as the weeks um, pass and as, again, we get into your season, you will feel uh, better and more at peace again with the decisions you're making. Some of you are making very important decisions. And for some of you Capricorns, there's a lot of paper energy, so, so you might be signing important contracts or you might be... You know filing for divorce or getting married mm -hmm. there's something here about contracts for some of you you want to move somewhere with the six of swords as well so you have been patiently waiting for the right time to make this move happen and you're realizing that the right time is next year so 2020 is 21 i'm sorry is the the year where some of you really are going to departure an energy a place a job a relationship that doesn't serve you anymore into something much better but for some of you that have been waiting um for the right time or even for some the right location to move december brings that 
confirmation, that certainty, that decision. And even for some of you, again, that that uh, move, like that, not the physical move, but the mental move, uh, so the decision, um, could be done right now in December. I really feel like for some of you, it's the more woke you stay, the better in terms of it's important to keep your energy as clear as air. You have a lot of air elements. So some of you could be dealing with air signs strongly, heavily. Um, Gemini, Libras, and Aquarius. And they come in here to help you breathe fresh air. So either you're attracting um, a friend that... Or you're having... A, or you have by your side a friend that really knows how to give you sound, impartial, clear advice. You could also be that friend uh, during this time, or you're dealing with um, people in, in business, in love, um, that more than the sentimental aspect to it, they're really here to help you and support you in this move, in this transition you're making into 2021. And this transition is also a transition uh, to your best self and to your best life ever. So you see, whatever feels in December to be a little bit annoying, because for some it represents that you might have really to detach yourself. This is a lot of air, so you detach from things that previously um, gave you so much meaning, you know? That the sudden, you know, it's almost like you suddenly disconnect from something that was not healthy for you, but still, it, like it, this disconnection, this sudden disconnection, can feel weird to your own being, as if in like, where is my, you know, familiar issues? Where are my familiar feelings? Where are my usual concerns? Where are my, where is my usual self? This is. A sudden realization that the transformation you've been through in the last seven years has been actualized and you didn't, for some of you, didn't even realize it. You didn't even knew that the job was done. And I feel like this has a lot to deal with the transits of Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn. And Saturn is about to leave uh, your sign. So it's about this sudden awakening that as Saturn leaves your sign for good you're also changed for good and that's a good thing Capricorn because the change it is for the better so I hope you have a great uh, month I want to wish all of you happy 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 holidays and thank you for all of um, all of you that have been uh, there throughout uh, this year watching and supporting my channel each one of you in your own ways thank you thank you so much and hopefully we'll see each other soon